t-shirt, Ned. You're wearing one. Yes, I am wearing one of the uh, the perks, the uh, the energy uh, t-shirt. Got here in Arizona a couple of weeks ago, and has already seen some some good usage. I I wore it on the little family holiday to the mountains of California, and uh, I wear it at work in meetings, and it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice very nice t-shirt. I like it. That's so, awesome. But it's a nice story um, how I know you, Ned, because you're such a well-known promoter in Hebden Bridge and you put on so many gigs for Damo and you introduced me to Damo and Elka and you you um, you attended the first ever get-togethers and it was really nice because you knew Elka and Damo so well. So when I came with you, I think it really helped them get to know me easier and trust me more because I was your friend. So it was really awesome to have you as the associate producer to help me begin this journey and this documentary because I guess I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, to be honest. And you were very good at helping me get from A to B. Yes. <laughs> I felt very much more like, I'm not your associate producer, I'm more like your wingman, aren't I? Because you're... You, you know, you and me were both from from Huddersfield, and and I'm kind of one of those people who likes to just go go off roaming and wandering and traveling. But you're more a car driver, so you were going a little out of your comfort zone, flying and catching trains around Europe, weren't you? So I was kind of like, you know, I was just your friend who pat, slaps you on the back and goes, "You got this, you got this." There was was my role, wasn't it, really? And because obviously that first documentary you made blew me away. But what? Well, you and I first met with, at my first show, did we not? When 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 Demo played my first ever show in, in Huddersfield at the Corner House, as it was called then. Ah, and is it now called the Parish Pump? It's gone back it to its real name. Pump. It was called oh. the Parish Pump beforehand, and it was a Corner House for a little while, and it went back to the Parish. But if you remember, um, when I put on my shows, I always want someone local to support. And, and back then in Huddersfield, the only band I could find that seemed anything like appropriate support was the Window Right, who I only knew for this MySpace account that was very enigmatic and had no names on there. And I messaged him through MySpace saying, I'm putting on Damo Suzuki in Huddersfield, and I think you'd be a really great fit for support. Would you please support? And they said, yeah, sure, Ned. And I knew something was up because I hadn't told them my name was Ned. And I was like, okay, this must be somebody <laughs> I know. And then... The day before the show, Dave comes to my house and he has the, the 20 CDs he travelled with then that, to listen to. One, one of them going, oh, that's the window right. They're supporting tomorrow. I, I don't know who they are, but but they, they're your support band. And he was impressed by that. And then the window right show up. And I know, to, I already knew Neil and Smudge from the, the being in the band of a friend of a friend before. But I'd never met you or Matt before that day. Yeah. I had no idea who I'd booked, just that they were local and they were great and they were perfect for the show. And this, this is network. Yes, the, the network came together. Network, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea they'd ever given you that CD. I had no idea there was a connection, but then you got the CD out and I was like... Yeah, it was strange. Yeah. <laughs> it it strange. was meant to be. It, the, if, if I, I, did, I didn't know the name of the band, you know, and I thought, oh, so at that time I, I, I was uh, uh, traveling together with the CDs, maybe 10, my uh, uh, favorite CDs, you know, one box or something. And yeah, here is my uh, favorite music at the moment, and they find, oh, it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's, That's it, was a it was a strange coincidence, and then that was, then there's you and Matt. First time yeah. I met you, and obviously Neil, Neil and Smudge, and, and obviously, I mean, I'm fair to say that, you know, with what happened of our friend Neil was kind of one of the things that, that kind of inspired you to make this documentary, wasn't it? Yeah, the synchronicity of life and that Neil was unable to survive his diagnosis and then unusually out of the blue, you told me that Damo had been diagnosed and as a filmmaker, and I felt it was really important for me to heal through watching and understanding Damo's journey and how he survived and how positive he was, but also that beautiful synchronicity of being an outsider artist, being really independent, all those things that really connected um, with me as well. And it's been an awesome journey and uh, rest in peace, Neil. And uh, the window right should get back together. We're using one of their songs in the credits called Green Divided by Blue. Um, that was on at Neil's funeral. Um, 
But yeah, that's how we all met. Fun times in Huddersfield, independent music, outsider artists all getting together. And it's awesome that people have the strength and courage to put on independent music and venues and get people together. And you're one of those people with Varsity Stars to enable people that have different ideas and concepts of what they prefer and musical place to get together. So yeah, awesome.